Hello everybody, today's video I've got a few pair of shoes that just need a little bit of attention. My strands, the cap toes there you can see especially, they need a good shine and moisturizing. And the protective half soles here, they're kind of peeling and ripping so um, I'm going to fix that. On my Allen Edmonds McNeils, eh, the shine is okay, they could use a little touch up. Um, kind of a similar deal here, the protective half soles uh, wearing through and peeling so I'm going to replace those. On my Allen Edmonds McAllisters, I think all these need is just the quarter rubber portion of the heel top lift replaced. And if I get ambitious, I'm going to take my Allen Edmonds Park Avenues and I'm going to take off these Goodyear rubber protective half soles and replace them just because they're ugly. Okay, so let's go. Hello everybody, it's Robert Power. Four and a half out of five. My shoe collection. These are made of shell cordovan. Can you tell the difference? Now here they are finished up. I'm not a professional. Look how tight this is though. Very clearly here, I just cut the thread in half. Look at that. And here they are, all finished up. So here's my Allen Edmund strands, and it's the first pair I'm going to work on. The uppers, the shoes probably could use moisturizing. They've got some scuffs, if you can see through there. And if you can see through there. The cap toes need some touching up, and they've cracked. Not a big deal. Um, the heel, I like these uh, heel tacks. And that one is at the perfect time to replace it. It's about worn, same as that one there. And uh, I think I'm also going to replace the rubber protective half soles, mainly because you can see here in the tip of the, this toe here, it's kind of torn and it's a little bit torn and worn through a little bit. The next, I'm going to move on to the McNeils and I'm going to replace the rubber protective half soles on these. I'll probably just give them a quick shine, replace the heel tacks. I think all the McAllisters need is really just. And it could even go a lot longer. I'm not a lot, but you see there's a darker black and then the lighter black. That's the leather heel base. That is a piece of rubber and that is the top lift. So I don't want to wear past that line. So I could go further, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace uh, the heel top lift, just the rubber portion on that. And if I get ambitious or motivated on my Park Avenues, these are just ugly. They're very wear resistant, but they're ugly. So I think I might want to change. Huge shout out to Steve from Bedos Leatherworks, B-E-D-O-S Leatherworks, his YouTube channel. I mean, me giving him a shout out, I don't know what it would be like. That'd be like, you know, a local a news broadcaster giving a shout out to a, a celebrity. But anyway, I mean, he's got an awesome channel. He's like one of the people that I religiously watch. And I watch him repeatedly because I actually try to to duplicate some of his skill sets. I'm never going to, but he's at least my uh, aspiration, the goal I aspire to. You know, I'm just an amateur and I just do this at home. But the reason I'm giving a shout out is I'm gonna use this to uh, redo the rubber protective half soles. He actually sent it to me. He sent me a couple rolls of this stuff. I mean, you know, I, I think he said he doesn't use it and he knew I, I would, so he just sent it out to me. Um, and I so appreciate that. Um, the stuff that I usually use on the top here is like one millimeter. And this is a bit thicker, it's like maybe a millimeter and a half, maybe two, but I think it should still do very well and it'll last longer. One of the things I've learned, one of the things I've learned about this stuff, like the Kanaji, I bought this stuff I think off of Amazon, but can you see the logo there? Um, if you can actually read it, it's Chinese made, it's a Japanese sounding name, K-A-N, uh, how do they spell it? K-A-N-I-J-I, -I, if you can see it there. It's a little bit softer, I think, when you feel it. It does have a rubbery feel to it. When you feel like, for example, this stuff, it has a, I don't know if you can hear the sound, when I scratch with my fingernail, it's more of a plastic feel. And this stuff, the brand is Chic, is it? C-H-I-C, is that Chic or Chic? But it's also got a plasticky feel to it. I believe what you want, you would think that this is gonna to be too slippery, feeling like plastic, but I think that's what you actually want. It's something that's more as a plastic feel, not a rubbery feel. It's more durable, traction's just fine. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna clean off the bottoms of the soles and the heels here. I've got some warm water, and this is just saddle soap. I'll link a video below, uh, so let's get going.
don't really need to wash off the rubber portion of the peel off. But whatever. It's nicer dealing with clean stuff than dirty stuff. off of eBay. I believe it's from a uh, seller Nord shoe. I will put a link in the description below. They're adhesive backed. Easiest way to get this old glue off. The old adhesive. They're adhesive, adhesive backed. Just roll it off with your finger. Comes off like a big burger. Keep your thumb out of the way. Just trying to get the nail started, that's all. And again, keep your fingers out of the way. Many a time I've poked right into my finger. old hole. notice I had a shoe tree on here so I'm I mean you know I got something to pound on there you go
to take these to the garage, just sand them down real quick. I'll be right back.
Allenite mini heels come from the factory with a, uh, it's like a press board. I don't know if it's made of ground up leather or paper, but there's a heel base. Uh, heel base that's made of whatever it is, pressed leather or paper or whatever. Uh, particle leather. Then this layer here, which is a piece of rubber. You can see it's about that thick. And then they put the rubber heel on top, so that's what you're seeing there. And then you can see the nails holding the heel base onto the sole.
I Shine cloth from the same company, Pure Polish. Very, very tightly woven cloth. It, I have found it does do a better job than a cotton t-shirt in producing a mirror shine. damp, not wet, not dry, damp. I think it gets dirt off better than just a brush. Notice the water drop. This is water resistant. This stuff really works. This has bentonite clay in it. What a lot of um, 
polishes do, not polishes, but waterproofing products do, um, is they seal off the leather with things like silicones or things like that. This does not. This is bentonite clay in it, which is naturally water resistant and is activated with water. So it lets the leather breathe, believe it or not. Personally did a test on it myself. Expose the shoes to water. Now you can see there, a couple drops of water got in. It's not waterproof, but I mean, it, great, it did actually greatly increase the water resistance. So you can see the water rolled off of the shoe in my test. Much more, it's like 70, 80% improvement versus regular polish.
they are all finished up. First of all, uh, the soles I took off of the Park Avenues here. Not worn through, but yeah, they're getting pretty close. This is the left foot and the ball of the left foot. So I guess the lesson here is when you see those grooves completely gone, probably getting close to the time to need to change them. A little bit of dust on them, but I didn't really even show the uppers. But they came out pretty nice. What you'll notice though is wherever that protective half sole was, it does kind of indent the leather. I think that's just from the pressure or maybe water over time, so, but I still think that looks nicer, doesn't it? It's not a perfect job, but. Pretty good. There was one spot, where was it? Where I didn't cut them out very well. Well, I can't find the spot, so I guess I won't show you. And I got these touched up a little bit, the toe caps touched up. But more importantly, got the heel tacks replaced. They're good to go. And the new half soles on there came out pretty nice. See, they're not perfect. You see there, like the trimming on the around the toe could have been a little better, I guess, but I'm literally three inches from the camera right now, so. These are thicker and you can see a little bit more of the edge sticking up there, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be like perfectly flush. There's no law that says it can't stick up a little bit. I still think those look great. No calisters. All shined up, and uh, heels, and I'm a work in progress, that's why I leave that in my ditty, you know, I'm not a professional, but they came out pretty good. I did these heels a year ago, and I wear these shoes fairly frequently, so. This rubber that I got was from Land Whirlin Leather in Illinois, that big sheet. Um, and this rubber material, this healing material, is a little bit softer than I would like. But being that I replaced them at home, I guess that's okay. In other words, that rubber is softer than the heels that Allen Edmonds uh, heels are made out of. Oh, and I didn't tie up the laces, but that's okay. The strands, I wound up not having to redo the, I did not wind up redoing the rubber. I just, it was actually just not trimmed well and it was sticking out a little bit. So I just trimmed it up and it's fine. Got the edges of the soles. Uh, shined up a little bit, repaired the spit shine on the toe caps. Heel tacks replaced. And these are good to go. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos. I've got a whole bunch of videos mainly centered around men's shoes and cobbling, amateur cobbling. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you feel so. Uh, feel so. And God bless you guys. Have a great day.